Following up on the past year's successful limited campaigns, we will introduce Paul Henningsen's iconic PH21 table lamp with amber-colored glasses and brushed brass. This perfectly sized uh, lamp is designed on the principle of the three-shade system, emitting a glare-free downward distributed light, while it also emits a nice glow to the surroundings uh, through the glass. This amber tone in the glass, in combination with the matte sandblasted underside of the glass, really adds to the appealing light distribution, being really soft, warm, almost resembling a candlelight. The great story about the Three Shade system begins in the 20s, where determined Paul Henningsen sets out to improve the bad light coming from the new electrical light bulbs. The essential principle of the three shades is based on the so-called logarithmic spiral, which means that all the curvatures uh, follow an organic curve. So the center of the light source here is placed in the focal point, and then it really creates a beautifully reflected and soft harmonious light when the light hits the curves of the shade and is uh, reflected downwards. The PH21 table lamp was originally designed in 1927, just one year after uh, Paul Henningsen and Louis Paulsen launched the three shade system. And um, it was first, all the three shade system lamps were first available with metal shades, with opal shades, uh, glass shades, and also with, with clear shades just being sandblasted. And in the late 20s, these uh, amber colored glasses were introduced really to create a new and even warmer um, light, but also to win more customers over. And it was a great success. The Italian mouthbone glass is a three layer glass. It consists of first a clear layer and then an amber colored layer and outside again a clear layer. After the mouth blowing of the glass in the form, the shape that is oval round would be cut in two and you would have two shades. The outside would be clear, in the middle you would have the colored glass and underneath also clear glass. And that underside is then sandblasted to give this matte reflecting uh, surface here. Being mouth blown, each glass has a little slight individuality to them. They're all a little piece of art. There will be small little air bubbles uh, enclosed in the glass and also there would be small little color variation in, in the tone uh, over the glass. The 2-1 in the name PH21 refers to the size of the lamp. The 2 refers to the top shade and the 1 refers to the two lower shades. Um, a size 2 is approximately 20 centimeters in, in diameter here. And uh, for this size, it's a hybrid size. This makes a very elegant look where you have a wider uh, top shade and a more narrow uh, lower set shade here. Also made of brass is the go-through switch that's located uh, just above the base. And it originates from the lamp from 1927. And it the go-through switch has this wonderful clicking sound, really uh, sending your thoughts back to the vintage lamps. The glassy surface of the shade, uh, it really reflects the surroundings so nicely uh, and gives it a dynamic look. And uh, when the light is turned off, you see other light sources reflecting it and uh, it really creates uh, a nice playfulness in, in, in the glass. The frame is made of brass and it's uh, been brushed slightly, so it has beautiful hairlines following the form. Um, it has been left untreated, so in years it will develop a beautiful patina. It can of course be polished, but then you will uh, slightly remove a little bit of the hairlines, but you can do it carefully. The top plate and the top knot of the lamp is also made of brass, it's a bit more rustique uh, than the ones we know from the three shade uh, glass lamp in the collection. The brown uh, textile cord really complements the exclusivity of the design and it also sends references back to the 
textile cords on the early P8 lamps. Paul Henningsen's initials are beautifully engraved beneath the lower shade here, and it's a discreet applaud to the master of light himself. The amber tone glass really complements most interiors, but of course, if you would want to, it's possible to replace them with opal glasses, give it a more serene and, and a different uh, ambience. So it's the same size as the ones we have on the PH21 in, in the existing glass collection. The 2-1 can of course also be used in many hospitality areas, restaurants, cafes, hotels. Uh, it could also be used in an office, in a reception uh, and so forth. Many places where this little lamp could uh, give something special to the interior.